In this video, we're going to look at how to set up an activity in Scribo so that students can access it and that you can download later on the analysis of that task. First of all, we're going to sign in. When we look at the layout of Scribo, it's actually quite simple. So when you have a look across here, these are the classes that you have set up. So for example, I have a Year 8 English and Hizzy class, and these are the tasks that that Year 8 class has already done. So if I want to start a new task, I'm just going to click Add New Activity. Now, in this case, you can actually upload, if you already have existing uh, responses, you can upload those using uh, the Upload tool. But generally speaking, once you have Scribo, it's much quicker to actually get the kids to access through Scribo and upload their responses. So in this case, I'm going to click Students Will Use Scribo. I'm going to set the name of the report. So at the moment, uh, next week, I'm going to ask them to do a report on uh, landscapes and landforms. And I can put the writing prompt here. Um, describe the difference between a landscape and a landform. And in here, I can put topic words. Now, they're dealt with differently depending on some other options that you pick here. So I might put in here landscape, landform, mountains, for example, um, volcanoes. These are all vocabulary that I would expect to see them using. Uh, the stimulus here, I can actually upload a picture. I can put um, links in so I can use different types of stimulus there for my um, response. But in this case, I'm just going to copy and paste the, um, the question down here. Now, I can create an, a new class here or I can add to existing classes. So I can actually add that to multiple classes on my response. And what's happened is once I click Year 8 Hizzy and English, English, I end up with down here, I see my students that I am going to assign this to. So at the moment, I'm going to say subject easy, you're eight, easy. I can set a minimum number of paragraphs. I can set a word limit. Um, I can choose existing word lists that are set up and I can set this up as a practice or an assessment. So with a practice, what it allows the students to do is to actually use things like the spelling check and grammar check and things like that um, in their response. So if you are wanting this uh, to analyse your raw data, you would obviously pick assessment. Um, but in this case, I'm going to pick practice. I'm going to set the um, types of writing as informative. Um, the writing level is, we'll say that they're developing writers, and I can check to say students can self-check their writing. So it gives them an opportunity to run through the Scribo analytics in order before they can actually um, submit that. I can see now my keywords are up here, so my topic words. So I can choose to show the keywords in the writing check. So what that will do is that it will highlight those keywords in, um, in their response. I can choose a rubric. So for example, we've set up here an informative text rubric to mark it, or I can just leave that blank. Uh, and I can set a due date. So when I hit next, that's it. That response is actually there to, um, for the students to respond to. Now, what happens is when any of those students that are in that class log into Scribo, it automatically has that there for them to actually access. If, say, for example, you have a new student there and you want them to be able to access it straight away as well, you can just record this code. Or if you don't have any students in your class yet, you can record that code, give it to the students, and that will actually assign them automatically to the class that they have. So when I click OK, you can see that my landscapes and landform response is there.